Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Bronson from Fretz RV here in Sowerton, Pennsylvania. Taking a look at another Jayco product today. We've got the Jayfeather Micro 166 FPS. It's part of their new product lineup. I've done a few videos on these models already and you guys seem to love them. They're my most popular videos so far, so we'll keep the train going. Take along the outside inside, show you some features, see if this might be the trailer for you. Starting up in the front section here, you will see you've got two 30 pound propane tanks. That'll be for your water heater, your heat on board. Water heater can run off electric as well. You've also got an electric tongue jack up here. Just hit the up down button. It's got an LED light built into it as well. On the side of the frame, you'll find that it does have a solar panel port here on the side. So if you want to bring one along with you, plug it into there. It'll triple charge the battery right, right away. And you also do have a solar panel on the roof of this one. Got the nice storage racks along the side. If you want to plop anything on there, tie it down, you can certainly do so. Up on the front section got a pass-through storage compartment here this will be for your blackstone griddle i'll show you where the box is for that in a bit and how it can set up but that'll be the part for that got a couple outlets and lights in here and you can see the other side of the pass-through down there below nice spot if you bring along any of your goodies next to that one you'll find got a nice outdoor fridge so you want to hang out and set up your griddle which would attach right there to that arm you can Cook some things right there, grab a beverage, hang out underneath your nice power awning that's got outdoor speakers and an LED strip under there. Next to all that, you'll find a nice cable outlet, some more outlets there as well for if you want to plug in a TV outside, you can certainly do so. Uh, you got the fresh water tank full over there as well. These have these nice Goodyear all-terrain looking tires with the wheels as well. It's a really nice, nice off-road looking package here. The Moride steps, these are nice and sturdy, very stable. They go all the way down to, they're nice and low so they're easy to step onto. And then you've got your nice grab bar for hopping up in the unit itself. Switch right there will be for a little blue accent light that will go on underneath your steps. And you can get the full view of this side here. On the back side, you do have the ladder that's got the pins. You can remove those. Get up to your roof where your solar panel is. You've also got a roof rack up there as well. Might be a little easier to see from this side. You can see the arm sticking out over here. So you do have the roof rack up top. If you want to tie something down up top, you can certainly do so. And you've got your full spare on a cool mount back here as well. It is, of course, backed up for or prepped for a backup camera. If you want to do so, you can get one installed up top there. Coming around the other side, you'll find you've got an outdoor shower. You've got your city water connection and a black tank flush, which is nice to see. Keep your black tank cleaned out, flush it out. Then you've got your 30 amp hookup and your cable hookup as well. And then your dump will be right down below. Nice little slide on this thing. Nothing too crazy big, but hey, for a unit of this size, take all the space that you can get. That'll open up and give you a little bit extra floor space in there for walking around. Here on the other side, you'll find your water heater back here, the other side of your passive storage. 30 amp power cord and there's your battery disconnect if you want to store and turn off the battery. Jake right now putting these nice side view uh, camera mounts on here where you can put a side, side view uh, camera there on either side. Come around the other side and I just want to make sure that you saw that the arm for the griddle, throw a picture here, show you what it looks like. You can set that up, it's a nice flat griddle, do some outdoor cooking. It's a really nice feature. Step them right up into the inside, I'll pan you around so you can get a nice look at it right away. They just slide out, some good floor space. Plenty of headroom in here as well. Very high ceilings, you can probably see my reflection there. I mean, I'm right above the AC. I've still got plenty of space here, and I'm about five foot 11. So there's your bed, have your entertainment area, your kitchen area. Starting right up in the front, you've got a very nice size fridge. Open this up, you'll have your freezer up above. Fridge down below. Plenty of shelving on the side. This is the gas electric fridge. And then you'll have some space next to it for more storage. Underneath, these are nice and deep. And even down below, this one's nice and wide. Coming right back up, before I pass this, you've got your main control panel for your tank level readings your water heater you can run it off gas or electric turn your pump on your lights and slide out 
or extend your awning and the slide out. This is your sofa. This will lay down flat to make a sleeping space for you. Tucked behind that, you do also have a table, which is nice. It can fold up and hide right back here when you want to bring it out, slide it up, unfold the legs, sit it down. So you can have a nice table space here for eating or having a drink or anything. Got the cup holder built into the side as well, but you can take that table outside. If you're cooking outside in your griddle, set some chairs up, some foldable chairs. Really nice feature. Coming in, we've got our bathroom, toilet with foot flush. Space there to get your legs out. Some hanging space up above. You do have a vent with an exhaust fan and then your corner shower with your curtain as well. Medicine cabinet, some storage in there with your sink and the cabinets open up down below. There is storage up above your sofa area as well. You can lift these up. These go in nice ways. Like I said, although we're in a smaller unit, you're still gonna have quite a nice amount of space of storage to work with here. That's gonna be your solar controller for your solar panel on the roof. Your heater, you can turn on from there. And you do have some USB and outlets next to your sofa as well if you wanna hang out and plug things in. There's even lighting up underneath there as well. They will have drop down shades. You can pull all the way down. That'll be on all the windows here. Storage up above your bed as well. Pop one of these open so that you can see how they look. And there's your bed. Pop up in there. Be good to go. You got storage down under here as well. Um, these bins, you can actually slide out and pop them off. There'll be a little bit of storage under there. Well, they'll make some nice ottomans. If you're hanging out on the sofa and you want to kick your legs up, slide those out, you're good to go. If you're sitting here, you're at least facing your TV. It's got a built-in sound bar. Nice size TV with storage underneath it as well. This has the vintage wash gray interior color. That's what you're looking at here. It's more of that light gray, modern looking color. Got a Furion microwave up top. Storage next to that. You've got three burner cooktop as well. You can pull this open and have access to that. Nice deep drawer down here for pots and pans. And then a smaller one below that as well. Nice and wide. Under here you'll find just a few more places to store your belongings. Outlets under here as well. That great bottle opener there. Single sink. Don't mind that pink fluid. That's just antifreeze in there for the winterization mode. You've got a roof mounted AC on here as well. Size of this unit, this uh, air conditioner will cool this thing off in minutes. You even got a max air fan up here as well. If it's not too uh, hot of a day, you can just turn the fan on, open up your windows and pull that air up and out. Even if you're cooking in here, you'll be able to get those exhaust fumes out of here. Just want to show you a couple more things outside. Jayco sticker, you've got the two plus three year warranty. Uh, that's the, the best leading industry warranty here on a trailer. Three year on the structural, two year on the bumper. This These uh, Jayfeather micros are built with Asdale on board. So it's a new composite material. Holds up really well when it gets wet. And the roof also has their Magnum truss, good for holding up 5,000 pounds. One of the strongest roofs that you can get as well. So this is a J Feather Micro 166 FBS here at Fretz RV in Sowerton, Pennsylvania. Again, my name is Bronson. If you do have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Any recommendations, please let me know. I'll be glad to show you whatever we have. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed. Um, subscribe as I will be posting plenty more trailer content, motorhome content, um, class A, B, C, all the above. Can't forget that hidden storage behind the TV as well where your cup holder tables are at. See you in the next one, guys. Thank you.